Dear Chemco family, welcome to Ori, our 13th season of Chemco TV's News Bulletins. We're all very happy to be in Bangkok and we're looking forward to sharing news and information from Chemcon Asia 2024 with you. Also in this series of Chemco TV's News Bulletins, you can expect interviews with authority and industry experts. Today we start very appropriate for a week of networking with an interview on interacting with regulators around the globe. As of tomorrow, sound bites from the sessions, every day a statement of the day and a forecast for the day. And also in Bangkok, we like to spice up Chemcon TV's news bulletins with a knowledgeable and passionate local reporter. But where can we find a local reporter? For Chemcon Asia 2019, we went to the Jamsil Baseball Stadium and we found our reporter, Eun Lee. Baseball is of course a major Korean sport. So in line with that, I think it would be great to go to a typical Thai sports arena and find a new local reporter. Hank, my Chemcon TV cameraman, can you scan the gym? Yeah, please zoom in a bit. Oh, more to the right. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Oh, no, we don't want to get a find in that one. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, that's a nice guy. What? Yeah, zoom in, zoom in. Oh, too much kicking. Oh, that's a nice guy wearing a shirt. Hey, you know, we like our local reporters decently dressed, so yeah, yeah. Hey, mister. Hey, mister. Sorry to interrupt. We're looking for someone that can show us beautiful Bangkok and can share interesting Thai traditions with us without getting in a fight with your training buddies. Would this be something you would be willing to do? Yeah, honestly, that, that sounds great. Any excuse not to have to work out. Great. And what's your name? Oh, it's uh, New. Michael New. Welcome, Michael. Since we are in Thailand, we will give you for every report an elephant, the national symbol of Thailand. And this elephant symbolically showcases the topic we like you to report on. They are for my friends at Elephant Parade, a social enterprise that runs the world's largest art exhibition of decorated elephant statues. They do that to raise awareness for the need of elephant conservation. So, are you ready? Here comes your first elephant. You had me at elephant, but I gotta say, this is a gift fit for a king. Oh, I think I see what you did there. I know where I'm gonna take you next. Perfect. For now, we zoom out and take a look at non-verbal and verbal communication and compliance tactics in an interview I had with Sume Teo and Kevin Pollard. Sume and Kevin, why is the interaction between regulators and industry important? So I'll start with uh, saying that, you know, the chemical industry is a very heavily regulated industry. And as regulations um, are drafted, I think it is important that they are workable. Um, and the chemical industry does have pretty complex uh, supply chain and value chain. And so the ability to provide input um, and to take a look at draft regulations uh, and provide input to make it um, more workable, um, even provide solutions, you know, if, if we can, uh, that would be very important uh, so that whatever uh, regulations are put in place, they're implementable, they are enforceable. Um, the industry itself won't be as adversely impacted while, you know, we meet the same objectives and the, the objectives of the uh, regulations. Okay, great. And Kevin, what's your perspective? Yeah, thanks, Chair. Well, I mean, interaction is, is really fundamental to everything that we do. Um, if you really step back, ECA, the European Chemicals Agency, is uh, ultimately a coordinating agency. So we gather information from industry duty holders, um, we structure it and we make it available to the public. Uh, and most importantly, we, we use it as the fuel for our uh, regulatory processes, both in, in ECA and in the member states. So we, we can't really achieve any of this uh, without interacting with industry and, and other, other stakeholders. As, as Sume was saying, we need to make sure that our systems are fit for purpose. So they can be used by a, a diverse uh, array of industry actors. But equally important, more important, is that, that they can reach their policy objectives. So it's absolutely key to, to everything that we do. The complete interview can be viewed at our website and YouTube channel, or just press the CCTV button in our ChemConnect app. And for those in Bangkok, just watch the ChemCon TV channel in your guest room, or you can watch it on the royal side screen in our ballroom, which brings me to our local reporter. Michael, I see that you understood the clue of the royal elephant. I sure did, Tien. This is clearly a royal elephant. And it just so happens 
that it's also the Queen's birthday, which is why we're here outside of the royal palace to learn a little bit more about the Thai royal family. Delightful! All of us over here wish her a very happy birthday. Thank you very much. Actually, this palace behind me here once belonged to King Rama V, King Tulalongkorn, one of Thailand's greatest kings. If you get the chance to visit, it's a lovely building that blends Thai and Western architecture together. It's a rather fitting metaphor for His Majesty's reign, as he studied extensively abroad and then came back and modernized the country by abolishing slavery, introducing Thailand's first railway, bringing in roads, housing, a postal service, and even irrigation systems. That's impressive. Where else would we see the incredible impact of the Thai royal family? You can see the impact of the royal family everywhere in this country. The Thai language itself was invented by His Majesty King Ram Kham Hang all the way back in 1283. Thai is a tonal language, which means it's a language that's a lot easier to master when you're young. So I suppose, in a way, a lot of poor tourists have His Majesty to thank for the fact that ma, 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 and ma are five different words. You want to give it a try, Tiered? Ma, 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 and ma. It's not bad. Thanks for this splendid story. Here is another element for you that showcases the elegance of the Thai beliefs, the beauty of its culture, and to give you a hint, she is called Diva. Thank you, Tiered. That's a really beautiful elephant. Diva, huh? I'm assuming that's diva with an H and not the pop star diva with an I. I think I know where to go next. Back to you, Tiered. I see you're not easily being caught off guard. Talking about being caught off guard, industry here is facing several custom declarations and CBI challenges, which I will discuss with Mekwan Ho of Chevron. Mekwan, welcome. Thank you for inviting me to ChemCon 2024. Mekwan. One of the biggest challenges for ChemCon Asia 2024 this year was getting our sea container with our sustainable exhibition and TV studio through customs, despite the fact that according to the shipper, we ticked all the relevant boxes. Can you tell the challenges industry is facing here in Southeast Asia? Currently, chemical industry need to provide 100% composition information to customs authority to clear their chemical containers. So, and the industry would welcome a direct route to provide the information to the regulators and also an understanding on why such an information is needed. And your statement is? A direct route for confidential information to authority is ideal. Mekwan, thank you for your statement. Let's check with a local reporter and see if he understood the direction Diva was pointing. I think I understood. I'm here at Putamonton Park. It's a beautiful temple compound just outside of the main city. I believe that Diva was pointing to this location. Now behind me, at just under 16 meters tall, is the world's tallest freestanding Buddha statue. I'm gonna go check it out. Putamonton Park is full of all kinds of beautiful little areas you can explore, including the four main stations of the life of Buddha, his birth, his enlightenment, his first sermon, and his death. Maybe you can find them all if you get the chance to explore it for yourself. I know many people would like to visit Thai temples, also known as Wats. Would you be able to explain to us what's what in a what? This Wihan here at the center of Putamonton Park is a very special place. It contains the entire Buddhist canon engraved on 1,418 marble stelas. This Thai Buddhist canon, also known as the Tipitaka, is the foundational scripture of Theravada Buddhism and consists of three baskets, or Tipitaka, that cover disciplinary discourses of the Buddha and philosophical texts. It forms the doctrinal basis that guides the spiritual and monastic life within Theravada communities, particularly in Thailand. Very interesting and informative. Do you think we could make what's what in a what a regular daily item? I'm sure our viewers would love to hear more about this. Sure, I'd love to. Wonderful, since I believe that the what's are an essential part of what makes Thailand, Thailand. Another part of your culture is, of course, music symbolized by this 
themed elephant gift set. The magic of music. So I'm hoping you can strike the right note in tomorrow's report or maybe even blow your own or the elephant's trumpet. I'll do what I can. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Me too. And now it's time for the forecast for Monday. This morning we will start with a workshop on interacting with regulators around the globe. Followed by a seminar on enforcement and compliance approaches, again around the globe. With among others the enforcement and compliance challenges of online sales. And industry experts they will share their product stewardship strategy experiences. And in the afternoon a seminar on data sharing and data management around the globe with reach-like approaches and implementation in Turkey, India, Korea and the UK, as well as insights in data requirements, global inventories and development of a global test program. Of course including new approach methodologies, NAMS. Thank you for watching and for those here in Bangkok looking forward to seeing you at tonight's welcome reception with our Camcom family from all around the globe.